Willie, welcome to Galway. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, I've seen you. I've met you here a few times actually. You're kind of a regular visitor to Ireland, aren't you? Yeah, I think uh, I've been. Uh, this is my fifth time in Galway. Okay. Um, it's a lucky place to be, so you know I'm. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I've seen you play the Crane, the Russian tonight, obviously. Right. And, yeah, yeah. Any big gigs in Ireland? Coming up? No. no. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the biggest gig. You know, uh, uh, tonight. Um, uh, I'm reading with uh, Roddy Doyle, who I'm a huge fan and have been excited about it for months. And then uh, Dan and I from Russian Fontaine are playing at the Roche Dow. Sure. You told me you saw Roddy on the train earlier, but you were too nervous to go over and Yeah, man, I didn't want to bother him, you know. I'm not the most eloquent guy, too. I couldn't think of anything uh, cool to say, so I didn't say anything. Okay, so we'll just wait till America tonight yeah. and see what happens. Yeah, so. I'll have a few drinks and make a fool out of myself and, you know, well, call it a night. <laughs> Um, your new album, is it your 10th studio album? Yeah, it is. Country? Wow, yeah. That's, that's a lot really, isn't it? Since 1995? Persistent, yeah. 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 Can't get rid of us. Hey. Well, it's called The High Country and it's, it's almost like a, a novel set to music really, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's a story between you know, a, a, a parts mechanic and a... Auto parts girl. Auto parts girl. Oh, sorry, who's the guy? I've yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a gothic story. A love story between a, um, a, a married, a really unhappily married girl that works in an auto parts store, which in the U.S. the only thing, the only way you ever see women in a small town is they they work at the grocery store or auto parts store. And there's always the big auto parts girl that's meant to be there, and then there's the girl that's stuck. And right. So you, I've had bad enough luck with cars. I've been in auto parts stores most of my life, and uh, um, and so that she came out of that. But it's really just a gothic love tale of like trying to get out of a small town. Sure. Um, but there's a definitely light and dark to it. No sort of autobiographical stuff in there? Yeah. No, no, you would. <laughs> Have you slept with an auto parts girl? <laughs> no, I was never lucky enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always had a, you know, too bad a car. Oh, is that the way it works? That's yeah. the way they, oh, I'm not going with him. No. Yeah, man, he <laughs> drives a little Honda. Hey. I walked over to him and introduced myself, and he told me his name was Lonnie Dixon. Well, what's wrong with your truck? It's just old, he said. I shouldn't be making this sort of trip in. The top radiator, radiator hose is bulging, so I duct taped the shit out of it. I got an extra, but I have to wait until it cooled down to change it so I don't have time, so I'm gonna chance it. The alternator belts are loose, too. It's been howling for a while, so I went in there and bought a spare and tightened the old one. It'll be all right, I hope. I got. I go through about a quarter of oil an hour, and it'll be a miracle if the tranny holds. I've been running this, uh, I'll say it the F word. Uh, I don't know if I don't want to offend anybody, so I'm going to make it PG, you know? Uh, this is the, I mean, with your second novel, because you're a novelist as well, uh, there was a soundtrack album to that that came with the book. So obviously music and, and words and literature are very closely kind of entwined for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, my two favorite things have always been uh, uh, novels and, and records. Um, uh, the thing with with writing novels, it just takes so long. It's, yeah. uh, it takes a couple of years, and so you go through songwriting cycles throughout that. Um, and so I've always mixed the two, depending on um, the story. Like Northline was such a heartbreaking story for me about the uh, you know a young woman um, uh, who's had really bad uh, alcohol and anxiety problems, and she broke my heart over and over. So I wrote a, a bunch of songs about her. Some some. Uh, she did a favor like, then, really, didn't she? Yeah, like I was always trying to cheer up or, or cheer myself up. Uh, where Lean on Pete, the, my latest novel, I only wrote a couple songs off it. So it just depends what kind of story. It yeah. Is. But they're always kind of married. The band actually formed, like Lean on Pete, for people who don't know, is about a guy on a horse, basically, a teenager. You know, it's about a lot more than that, but Lean on Pete is the horse. Right. And Richmond Fontaine actually formed at a racetrack, didn't they? Yeah, you know, uh, I was so homesick. When I moved to Portland, it was like moving to the big city. And um, I was so homesick, the only place I, I felt comfortable at was the, the horse track. So I used to go there three, four times a week if I could. And, um, and that's where I met Dave Harding, the bass player. And um, you could just, you know, there's uh, nothing but old men there and a couple young guys. And so the young guys, you're always interested in why they're out there. Yeah. And, um, and so, you know, he played music and was, you know, he moved there to Portland. It's kind of a place where a lot of uh, people from small towns or different cities moved to to be in a band. And he did the same thing. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, the band have been well, sixteen years together, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So many lineup changes over that, or uh, you know, uh, I think we solidified in 
10 years ago or so, um, we got a solid drummer. We kind of gone through drummers and then we've just added guys. We added uh, Dan Eccles on guitar. Um, who who's playing with you tonight? Yeah, yeah, who's like the, the, you know, the greatest guitar player in town that you were always hoping he would be in your band. Sure. And, um, and then we finally got him. And then so, so mostly we just add people. Okay. You know, when we have money, we add more people. <laughs> Yeah. And you're coming back in September, aren't you? For, for I think it's shows. November. Oh, November. November, okay. we're coming back, uh, and hopefully we're playing here. They haven't solidified a gig here yet, but I think they're gonna. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. Yeah, me too. Okay. Willie Lawton, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry again about running out on the rent and pawning your folks' wedding rings. seat of my uncle's car and I woke shaking from a nightmare your dad was in and he had a gun in my mouth and he was about ready to throw me out of a window so I guess I got everyone pissed at me both living and dead enclosed is a money order for seven dollars I'll get you the rest when I can signed your best friend Walter Thank you.